Hey True Believers, this is Dr. T, and welcome to my comic book channel. Today we're going to take a look at comic books and media mail shipping. Stay tuned. Please consider smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel, and if you're really enjoying today's content, press that notification bell. So for some of you watching this video, this might be a controversial topic to you. So we're going to take a look at exactly what we can send through media mail and whether comic books apply and graphic novels as well, or trade paperbacks. Just over a month ago, I received some, some books in the mail and they came labeled like this, book media mail on it and I kind of sighed because years ago I had the experience of getting some stuff shipped to me through media mail and I ended up having to cover the postage for it I should have I contacted the seller on eBay and said hey I got stuck with paying extra postage and he said oh it should have been a problem comic books are fine through media mail and that was not my experience. So let's go through and see exactly what we're allowed to do with media mail. So directly from the USPS, this is what we are allowed to ship through media mail. Books that are at least eight pages. And a lot of times this is where we think, oh, well, that, that's where comic books come in. But before we get to that, let's keep going. So sound recordings, video recordings, such as CDs and DVDs, Play scripts and manuscripts for books, periodicals, and music. Printed music, so sheet music like this. This would be, this would be printed music. Computer readable media containing pre-recorded information and guides or scripts prepared solely for use with such media. 16 millimeter or narrower width films. Printed objective test materials and their accessories printed educational reference charts, loose leaf pages and their binders consisting of medical information for distribution to doctors, hospitals, medical schools, and medical students. Now here are some, these are where some restrictions come in that can sometimes be confusing. Media mail packages may not contain advertising, except that books may contain incidental announcements of other books, and sound recordings may contain incidental announcements of other sound recordings. So there are a lot of books out there where if you look at the back of them, they'll have the other books in that particular series. A lot of children's books do this, and even, even uh, books for, for adolescents and adults do the same thing. So the the... The comics that I got that came in this media mail package were a couple reader copies. First appear again, beater reader copies. First appearance of Onslaught, and then here this X Men uh, 56, so X Men 53, X Men 56, and look on the and and then I also got this um, X Man number 15 and a newsstand copy of X Men 53, the, the the first Onslaught. So let's take a look. So advertisements, if you look on the back of this comic book, this is a Vans advertisement. And all of you know that inside of these books, there are a number of, a number of advertisements from milk to Oreos to whatever, all sorts of things. Uh, Clearasil in 1996, here's an advertisement on the first page for Clearasil. So we know that there are advertisements throughout comics. On the back of this, this was advertising a TV show, The Crow, of this X-Men 56. Current books do the same thing, advertisements throughout. And then, so, on another site, this site is called Shipping School. And he goes through what, what qualifies for media mail, books that contain at least eight pages, but again, no advertisements. So we're going to focus on that books that contain at least eight pages. So I scroll down here on his site, Shipping, Shipping School, and he asks the question, what about comic books or graphic novels? And this person says, and this is a this site looks, looks legit. This is a good looking site, again, shippingschool.com. And 
asking that question, what about comic books or graphic novels? Unfortunately, comic books and graphic novels do not qualify for USPS Media Mail. And I imagine out there there are some of you that that would swear by it that, no, no, comic books are okay. But because they contain advertisements, yes, can, can there be an argument made that comic books are educational material? Sure, I agree with you. A lot of high schools and junior highs actually in their school libraries are now have graphic novels, trade paperbacks, and comic books for their students to read. So I would argue that yes, they are educational materials, but they contain advertisements. Here are some examples of books that do not contain advertisements that I could ship through media mail. This right here is my 680 page dissertation. There isn't a single advertisement in this, and this is a fairly heavy book. I could ship this through media mail, and it would be just fine. Here is an example of a music textbook that I could ship through media mail because there are no advertisements, paid advertisements within these pages. So those are some examples of things we can send. So as you're thinking about sending comic books through the mail, just understand that really as described by these sites, comic books do not qualify for media mail shipping. And I say that very strongly, but maybe I'm going to get in trouble. Maybe you're going to, some of you are going to leave some nasty comments for me. But hey, if you have a good argument of why comic books are okay, I am happy to learn from what you have to say because I think this is important and there's a lot of confusion out there about what's allowed for media mail. A lot of times we send something hoping, oh, we want the cheapest shipping price, right? And Media Mail, current 2021 rates, one pound, $2.89. Two pound, and this is this is from um, support.shippingeasy.com that lays out this information. Two pounds, $3.45. Three pounds, $4.01. All the way up to, and you can send up to 70 pounds with, with, with Media Mail. And 70 pounds, $41.53. Can you imagine the price with priority trying to send a $70 package? It's it's just it's gonna be a huge, a huge cost. So sometimes we try to fib and say, oh well, medium media mail's media mail's fine, but that just is not the case for comic books. And on this support.shippingeasy.com site, it says it again reaffirms from the USPS website, packaging may not contain advertising. And let me read this to you from the USPS website. Media mail packages are subject to inspection by the Postal Service. Upon such inspection, matter not eligible for the media mail rate may be assessed at the proper rate and sent to the recipient postage due, or the sender may be contacted for additional postage. So you could, we could be sending comic books to someone through media mail. They get it, and like it was my experience several years ago, I have to cover the remaining cost for the books that were not supposed to be sent through media mail or the sender may be contacted. But it's just a headache that we as the senders or the buyers are going to have to possibly deal with. And I don't know about you, but I don't want USPS uh, postal employees to be opening up my boxes, not realizing that I have valuable material in them, and then just start sifting through to see, oh, let's, let's open these up and see if, oh, they have advertisements. Look at this. A major major league baseball uh, advertisements for, for baseball cards. I don't want them flipping through my through my stuff. Oh, let me let me take this book out of this of this package here and take the tape out and slide it out to make sure it applies. That's not something I want done, and I know that's likely something you want done. So hopefully this video was beneficial to you about learning about whether we can send comic books through media mail. And the definitive answer is no, we cannot. So if if you have anything you want to leave in the comments, maybe you have a, ver a differing opinion or experience, I would love to hear them. Let's keep it civil. But again, I would love to hear what you have to say in argument uh, uh, counter to what I just lay laid out for us. And like always, true believers, comics for life.